All right, well, when you think of gardens and plants, summer might come to mind, but that doesn't have to be the case. You can actually have an indoor garden in the winter. Now, to find out how to get started, we are joined by Rachel Nish from Gray's Greenhouse in Plymouth. Thank you for being with us. Thank you guys so much for having us. Of course. So first, let's get right into potting plants. What do you have there? Yes. So I've got a pot. I prefer terracotta. All of our pots are pretty well loved. They've been around for a long time. Um, terracotta is great because it's porous all the way around and it has really good drainage. So especially in the winter uh, when people take water, um, it's, it's a really good option. Um, I also have our potting soil, which is uh, peat, perlite and soil. Um, which in this case is like a leaf compost. Um, and that also is a really good well draining soil. Uh, you don't want to use something that's going to hold a lot of moisture uh, uh, unless you're dealing with a plant that's extremely moisture loving. But typically people tend to be overwaterers and um, you want something that can dry out. Oh, so right. um, just adding some soil in here and then we're just going to make a little uh, combination planter so you can feel like there's a little spring in your house. All right, so what other house plants do you recommend in the winter? Yeah, um, so one of the uh, one of the great families of plants, begonias. Um, begonias like to uh, be on the dry side, but the nice thing about it for winter um, is that they can tolerate a little lower light. Mm. So typically, people in Michigan overestimate the amount of light they have in their house. They think, oh, I have a window, so I've got a lot of a lot of light. I mean, no window in Michigan right now has a lot of light. I think even in this greenhouse this time of year, uh, it's pretty dim. So you want to err on the side of lower light plants um, than you expect. Uh, peperomias, this is another really great family of plants. This is the Peperomia incana, which is one of my favorites because it's fuzzy and very sweet. Um, and they also like it a little bit dry, so they are a good buddy for the begonia. And they also can handle a little bit lower light. All right. Well, now I brought in one of my house plants that's struggling. <laughs> Do you have any advice? I mean, I've tried very hard with him. He's a him. Um, <laughs> okay, that's great. I'm a little ashamed. Now I have some vine plants that are thriving. I just don't know what to do to bring it back to life. Okay, so um, I did a little, a little assessment here. Okay. Um, my guess is too much water and too much water probably from being in too big of a pot. Um, and also being in a pot that doesn't have a lot of drainage. So having not seen it in person, I think it's in kind of a large planter. It looks like the outside of a plastic pot with yeah. maybe like a liner inside. It, exactly, not that's sure. exactly what it is. And I, okay, okay. And I can't tell if that outside pot it either probably has drainage, a drainage hole um, and an attached saucer, or it might not have a drainage hole at all. Uh, you know, Let's it see. has an attached saucer on the inside. Uh -huh. Uh huh. So. Yes. Oh, those are the worst. Oh, so those no. will trick you. You think you have drainage, you behave like you have drainage, but you really don't. Okay. That water just really doesn't have much place to go. And it's also really hard to monitor how much water is even in there. So if you have a plant in kind of a big pot like that, mm -hmm. every time you water that soil is going to stay wet for a long time. You know, um, and those roots wet. just need to dry out quicker. Okay. So should I go with a terracotta planter? Terracotta planter would be great, or a plastic pot is fine. Um, if you want something, you probably just want to downsize a little bit. I think once you take that puppy out of there, you're going to see that the roots are a little bit uh, soft and probably not super robust. Okay, you know what? I'm going to give Sorry, this a try because I, I need to. <laughs> I felt badly too. I, it's all we're, right. We're going to make it and I'm going to follow up with yeah. you in a couple of months. Great. Because I Great. am intent on breaking this whole, you know, hold that not having a green thumb has on me. I'm ready to move over to the other okay. side. Yeah, he's not too far gone. There is <laughs> plenty you. of hope there. I have seen much worse. All right. Thank you. Now, let me ask you this. What would you say are yeah. the two most important factors to consider when indoor gardening? Yeah, so probably um, kind of like I've mentioned, light and container type. So uh, like I said, again, everyone thinks that they have a uh, bright light if they have a window that might be facing the south. Um, really, they probably don't. So succulents can be a tough one. I know they're really popular, but um, they're a desert plant and we are very far from that. So you want to pick something that's maybe a little bit lower light than you think. Um, and then you also want a container that has really good drainage. If you uh, have some beautiful ceramic pottery that you just love, 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 and it doesn't have a drainage hole, just put it in a plastic nursery pot with a good hole and then sit it inside that beautiful piece of pottery. Okay. That way you can control the watering and it still looks nice. All right. Well, tell us a little bit about Gray's Greenhouse and where you guys are located. 
Yeah, so we're in Plymouth. We are on the northeast corner of Joy and Lily. We've been here since 1928. Uh, so just a few years. Um, and uh, it's just a super historic, charming place. We have dirt floors and uh, wood benches that have been here for a long time. Um, we host workshops. That one is Kara's Garden. That's a um, She's a, a local watercolor artist. We do uh, weddings, really intimate, small ceremonies that are hmm. uh, lovely. Um, and we do artisan markets. Um, so we're trying to do a lot more community events uh, than than we have historically, and that's been really nice. All right. Well, People have been coming to Gray's for a long time. Well, so. It looks absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much yeah. for being with Thank us you. on the show today. Thank you guys so much.